I was thrilled when Daniel Hyde told me that he wanted to record visions with the choristers of King's College Choir, with the Britain Sinfonia, one of the finest of our chamber orchestras, and with Hannah Perone, who's surely one of the most exciting violinists of her generation, all in the matchless acoustic of King's College Chapel. The very first thing that I remember was coming in and hearing hearing the choir live for the first time because you always hear them on the radio and it's always it's always beautiful but actually being in the room and hearing these voices it's just it actually gave me goosebumps it was really really special it mainly focuses on the harmonies the slinking violin solo it's like almost um like sewing its way through the orchestra and the choir just sits on top floating what an incredible recipe for something that turned out to be a recording that seemed almost effortless and to have come from heaven. It couldn't have gone better. Well, John Rutter was the composer. Um, I really enjoy his music. And well, one thing that was really fun was that uh, he came to us and we got his autograph, which was quite fun. Both got me with cross. Yeah. Um, I'm really thinking of framing it sometime because all my family and my granny as well are really good fans. So. John Rutter is somebody that I, I mean, I, I grew up with as a child. All of the carols and, and the arrangements, when I think pretty much all of them actually, when, when I was growing up, were orchestrated by, by him. And then to see this other side, which I didn't personally know, I always associated it with, with, with choral um, and, and sort of church music then to see this side, which I suppose is still kind of connected to that, but also very different. The best part about singing with the orchestra is we're kind of a line in the middle, but you could always be seen as the orchestra is morphing around us, and with the luscious strings, it just it makes the music come alive. If you're hearing Visions for the first time, you might actually not recognise it as something that I've written. And in fact, it is rather unlike anything I've written before. Well, I was quite excited because I've done a couple of things with Britain's and Venue before, but not, not like that. See, it's quite dark at the start. It starts with chant, with the boys really singing it out. But I remember all of the long and hard rehearsals with getting the vowels and the ensemble right and the pronunciation. It was really long and hard, but once you got to the final product, it felt good. And it was really like atmospheric to start the piece. It gathers together quite a number of themes that are very important to me. First and foremost, Gregorian chant, the earliest notated music of the Christian church. It's like a golden thread that runs through my whole composing career. And then there's choristers. The sound of high voices in a choir, for me, is the voice of the angels. Then the strings. I love strings and it's rare that I've ever had the opportunity to write for solo violin. So put together, all these were very special ingredients for something that was an adventure in composition. <laughs>